All right, now we're doing 8Q remove exclamation marks. This is by Weechu, and 90% of the people like it. So we're going to write a function remove exclamation marks, which removes all exclamation marks from a given string. All right. So we could start off, we could do something like a for loop. We could say, uh, let, no, for, let i equals 0, while i is less than s dot length. Uh, I plus plus so we're going to iterate through the string s and then uh, we could do something down here uh, if and then we say if uh, s at index i does not equal an exclamation point whoops what? come on now. okay so if s at i does not equal an ex exclamation point, uh, we're going to have to do something first. We're going to have to uh, declare a variable. So we're going to come up here and say let result equal an empty string. So we got something to uh, push these non-exclamation points into, I should say. Uh, so we'll say result plus equals um, s at i. So if it's not an exclamation point, throw it in there. And then we say return results. Let's test it out. Uh, just like that and attempted just to check if there's any tricks. Ah, look, we're all good. But you know what? That's cool and all, but what if you run into something that's a little shorter and a little uh, more concise, like something using this replace syntax, excuse me, replace method, which returns a new string with one sum or all matches of a pattern replaced by a replacement. The pattern can be a string or a regex, and the replacement can be a string or a function called for each match. The pattern, pardon me, if the pattern is a string, only the first occurrence will be replaced, so the original string will be left unchanged. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to say uh, whatever dot s dot replace, uh, we're going to have the pattern is going to be some regex, and then the replacement is just going to be um, an empty string. So we're going to uh, replace. We're going to use the regex for. Um, one of those things we're replacing exclamation points and there we go uh, if you don't know about the regex let me pull this up while we're here uh, the regex we're going to be using is just going to be we're going to be using something like uh, this character class here uh, the escape character which uh, will escape the uh, what is it the exclamation point for us and we're also going to be using let me open this up like this, uh, we're also going to be using this uh, global flag right here so that we can search more than once, the global search flag. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about right quick. So we're going to change this to concise syntax, say const remove exclamation marks equals s, and then we're going to get rid of this stuff, all right? Uh, down here, we're going to say um, s.replace, all right? And the first thing we're going to do is the regex. So we're going to have the little two uh, regex slashes. Then we're going to do the backslash with the exclamation point. Uh, so that's the escape character right here. So that it knows just to search for an exclamation point instead of like a not operator or whatever. Uh, and then we're going to have G right here so that it'll search more than once. And then we're going to replace it with nothing. All right. With a, uh, with a um, empty string. So let's test this out to see how this works. And just like that, all right, and attempt it, and there we go, and submit it. All right, and you see right here, they did uh, replace GI. You don't, we don't have to do I because I is um, case insensitive, and since we're replacing these, actually, we didn't even need to have the escape character in there, huh? Well, whatever, no big deal. Uh... And so this one's just doing G, and then you just keep going down. Here's something that mm, isn't like what we did. Anyway, whatever. Uh, let's go over to mine. Uh, just 71 of us plus these people. Best practice in my opinion. Very much like it. And we'll see you next time.